Bank robbers have always intrigued the public with their audacious heists, daring escapes, and larger-than-life personas. In this video, we'll explore the infamous lives and crimes of these daring individuals, delving deep into their backgrounds, heists, and ultimate fates. So let's dive in. Number 25, Willie Sutton. Willie Sutton, also known as Slick Willie and The Actor, was born in 1901 in Brooklyn, New York. Sutton was famous for his disguises and meticulous planning, which allowed him to pull off over 100 bank robberies. He was captured multiple times, but managed to escape from prison three times. One of his famous quotes, I rob banks because that's where the money is, has become legendary. Sutton was captured for the last time in 1952 and spent the remainder of his life in and out of prison until his death in 1980. Number 24, Clyde Barrow. Clyde Barrow, part of the infamous Bonnie and Clyde duo, was born in 1909 in Ellis County, Texas. Alongside Bonnie Parker, Barrow embarked on a two-year crime spree from 1932 to 1934, robbing banks and small businesses across the Midwest. Their robberies often involved shootouts with law enforcement, resulting in multiple deaths. The couple's criminal activities and violent end in a police ambush in Bienville Parish, Louisiana, captivated the American public and cemented their place in criminal folklore. Number 23. M.A. Barker, Ma Barker, born Arizona Donnie Clark in 1873, was the matriarch of the Barker Carpus Gang, which included her sons Herman, Lloyd, Arthur, and Fred. Operating during the 1930s, the gang committed numerous bank robberies, kidnappings, and murders. While some historians debate her level of involvement, Ma Barker was killed in a 1935 shootout with the FBI in Oklawaha, Florida. Her death and the subsequent revelations about the gang's activities made headlines nationwide. Number 22. Jesse James Jesse James, born in 1847 in Kearney, Missouri, led the James Younger gang with his brother Frank. After the Civil War, the gang committed a series of bank, train, and stagecoach robberies, becoming legendary figures of the Wild West. Their first bank robbery took place in Liberty, Missouri, in 1866. Jesse's daring heists and his ability to evade capture turned him into a folk hero. He was ultimately killed in 1882 by Robert Ford, a member of his own gang, for a bounty. Number 21. John Dillinger. John Dillinger, born in 1903 in Indianapolis, Indiana, became one of the most infamous criminals of the Great Depression. He led a gang responsible for numerous bank robberies across the Midwest and was known for his charisma and daring escapes from jail. Dillinger was declared public enemy number one by the FBI. His life came to a dramatic end in 1934, when he was ambushed and killed by federal agents outside the Biograph Theater in Chicago after being betrayed by the Lady in Red. Number 20. Pretty Boy Floyd Charles Arthur Pretty Boy Floyd, born in 1904 in Adairsville, Georgia, gained notoriety for his bank robberies during the Great Depression. He was known for his violent methods and was involved in multiple shootouts with law enforcement. Floyd was also reputed to destroy mortgage documents during his robberies, which endeared him to many impoverished Americans. He was killed in a shootout with the FBI in 1934 in East Liverpool, Ohio. Number 19. Frank Abanale, Jr. Frank Abanale, Jr. Born in 1948 in Bronxville, New York, became infamous for his numerous cons and frauds, including impersonating an airline pilot and a doctor. Abagnale also committed bank fraud, using false identities 
and forged checks to steal large sums of money. His criminal exploits from ages 16 to 21 were later dramatized in the movie Catch Me If You Can. After being captured and serving prison time, Abagnale reformed and began working as a consultant for the FBI, helping them to catch other fraudsters. Number 18, Babyface Knee Nelson Lester Gillis, known as Babyface Nelson, was born in 1908 in Chicago, Illinois. He was a violent bank robber and an associate of John Dillinger. Nelson was involved in several high-profile heists and was notorious for his deadly temper. He killed more FBI agents in the line of duty than any other person, solidifying his ruthless reputation. Nelson died in a shootout with the FBI in 1934 in Barrington, Illinois, following a violent crime spree. Number 17, Bonnie Parker. Bonnie Parker, born in 1910 in Rowena, Texas, partnered with Clyde Barrow in one of the most famous criminal duos in American history. The couple's crime spree from 1932 to 1934 included multiple bank robberies, car thefts, and murders. Their romanticized image as star-crossed lovers and outlaws captured the public's imagination. Bonnie's life, along with Clyde's, ended in a dramatic police ambush in Louisiana in 1934. Number 16. Al Capone Al Capone, born in 1899 in Brooklyn, New York, is primarily known for his role as a mob boss during Prohibition. However, Capone's criminal activities also included bank robberies and other forms of organized crime. His reign as Chicago's most notorious gangster ended in 1931, when he was convicted of tax evasion and sentenced to 11 years in prison. Capone's life and criminal empire have become synonymous with the lawlessness of the Prohibition era. Number 15. The Barker Carpus Gang The Barker Carpus Gang, led by Alvin Carpus and the Barker Brothers, was one of the most notorious criminal groups of the 1930s. They committed numerous bank robberies, kidnappings, and other crimes across the United States. Carpus, known for his cunning and ruthlessness, was captured in 1936 and was the last public enemy to be apprehended. He spent the rest of his life in prison before being paroled in 1969. Number 14. Harry Pierpont. Harry Pierpont, born in 1902 in Muncie, Indiana, was a key member of John Dillinger's gang. Known for his meticulous planning, Pierpont was involved in several high-profile bank robberies. He was instrumental in Dillinger's escape from the Lima, Ohio jail in 1933. Pierpont was eventually captured tried, and executed in 1934 for his crimes, including the murder of Sheriff Jess Sarber during Dillinger's jailbreak. Number 13. The Newton Gang. The Newton Gang, consisting of brothers Willis, Joe, Jess, and Doc Newton, were active in the early 20th century. They claimed to have never killed anyone during their heists, which made them unique among notorious robbers. The gang successfully robbed dozens of banks and trains, amassing a fortune. Their most famous heist was the 1924 robbery of a Chicago mail train, where they made off with $3 million in cash and bonds, one of the largest hauls of the era. Number 12. Willie the Actor Sutton, Willie Sutton, known for his multiple prison escapes and clever disguises, was involved in numerous bank robberies over his 40-year criminal career. Born in 1901, Sutton's charm and acting skills allowed him to impersonate various professionals and gain access to banks. He was captured for the last time in 1952 and spent much of his life in and out of prison. Sutton's life story and his escapades have become legendary in the annals of American crime. Number 11. 
Roy Gardner. Roy Gardner, dubbed the Smiling Bandit and the King of Escape Artists, committed multiple bank and train robberies in the 1920s. Born in 1884, Gardner became infamous for his numerous successful escapes from custody. His life of crime and daring escapes made headlines, and he was finally captured for good in 1934. Gardner's autobiography, Helcatraz, details his criminal exploits and life behind bars. Number 10. Hermann Lam. Hermann Lam, a former Prussian soldier, is credited with creating the modern bank robbery technique, known as the Lam Technique. Born in 1890, Lamb's methodical approach included detailed planning, rehearsals, and the use of getaway maps. His innovative techniques were later adopted by other notorious criminals, like John Dillinger. Lamb's career ended in 1930 when he committed suicide after being surrounded by police during a failed bank robbery. Number 9. The Great Train Robbers in 1963, a group of 15 robbers led by Bruce Reynolds executed the Great Train Robbery in England, making off with £2.6 million, equivalent to about £53 million today. The heist involved meticulous planning and the use of a fake signal to stop the train. Despite their initial success, most of the robbers were eventually captured and imprisoned. The robbery became one of the most famous in British history. Number 8. Patty Hearst Heiress Patty Hearst was kidnapped by the Symbionese Liberation Army, SLA, in 1974. During her captivity, Hearst was brainwashed and participated in a bank robbery with her captors. Her involvement led to a highly publicized trial where she was convicted of bank robbery. Hearst's case sparked debates about coercion and criminal responsibility. She was later pardoned by President Bill Clinton in 2001. Number 7. The Hole in the Wall Gang Led by Butch Cassidy, this gang became legendary for their bank and train robberies across the American frontier in the late 19th century. Cassidy, born Robert Leroy Parker in 1866, was known for his charm and strategic planning. The gang's exploits, including the famous 1900 bank robbery in Winnemucca, Nevada, became part of Western folklore. Cassidy's fate remains a mystery, with conflicting reports about his death in Bolivia in 1908. Number 6. Jesse James Gang Jesse James, along with his brother Frank and their gang, conducted some of the most daring bank and train robberies in the post-Civil War era. Their first bank robbery in Liberty, Missouri, resulted in the death of a young college student. The gang's violent methods and their ability to evade capture made them legendary outlaws. Jesse James was ultimately killed by Robert Ford, a member of his own gang, in 1882. Number 5. The Brinks Job in 1950, a group of 11 thieves stole $2.7 million from the Brinks Armored Car Depot in Boston. The heist, known for its precision and planning, involved detailed rehearsals and the use of masks and navy peacoats to disguise the robbers. The crime remained unsolved for six years until the robbers were eventually captured. The Brinks job remains one of the most famous bank heists in U.S. history. Number 4. The Banco Central Burglary In 2005, thieves tunneled into the Banco Central in Fortaleza, Brazil, stealing over $70 million in one of the largest bank heists ever. The sophisticated operation involved the construction of a 78-meter tunnel from a nearby rented property to the bank's vault. The heist took months of planning and was executed over a weekend. Despite the massive haul, several gang members were eventually captured 
and a portion of the money was recovered. Number 3. The Hatton Garden Heist In 2015, a group of elderly men broke into the Hatton Garden Safe Deposit Company in London, stealing around £14 million worth of valuables in a meticulously planned heist. The robbers, some in their seventies, used tools like industrial drills to access the vault. The heist was carried out over the Easter weekend, allowing the gang ample time to complete their operation. The robbers were later dubbed the Bad Grandpas by the media. Number 2. The Banco Itau Heist In 2011, a group of robbers tunneled into a Banco Itau branch in Sao Paulo, Brazil, stealing over $20 million. The heist was remarkable for its sophisticated planning and execution, involving extensive tunneling equipment and months of preparation. The robbers rented a house near the bank and dug a tunnel to access the vault. Despite the elaborate scheme, several members of the gang were eventually apprehended. Number 1. The Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum Heist Although not a bank robbery, the 1990 heist at the Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum in Boston saw thieves steal 13 pieces of art worth half a billion dollars, making it one of the largest and most notorious art thefts in history. The robbers disguised as police officers gained entry to the museum, tied up the guards, and made off with invaluable artworks. The case remains unsolved, with the empty frames still hanging in the museum as a reminder of the lost masterpieces. These notorious bank robbers have left a lasting impact on history with their audacious crimes and daring escapades. Their stories continue to fascinate and remind us of the thin line between law and lawlessness. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more intriguing content.